Hi folks, for the first day of our holidays in October we did the circular walk around Tintagel and Barra's Nose along some of the southwest coast path and then checked into our cosy retreat. On this walk we will show you where we went and what we visited and also what vegan snacks we had along the way. It was lovely because as it was autumn we saw the gorse and ferns changing to a lovely autumnal shade of golden brown. I am the walking vegan and I make videos on walking and being vegan because I believe in keeping healthy. Today we are going to walk a circular walk from Tintagel to Barra's Nose. <laughs> We're taking in Tintagel and Barra's Nose. It's a little circular walk about 3.3 miles and we're going to use the All Trails app to do this. Um, it's going to cost £3.50 in the car park here and it's raining. See through the windscreen here it is actually raining but we're going to put our waterproofs on and we are going to go for it. So the start of the walk was through a housing estate where, to be honest, we got a bit lost. But then we found the path taking us over a little bridge and into the countryside. It was a fresh autumnal day and absolutely lovely for walking. Once we found signs, it was easy to find our way around and it was most enjoyable and we had some treats in store for us as well. We love filming ourselves climbing over stiles, goodness knows why, probably to prove that 60 somethings can still climb over stiles. Paul was a little bit concerned about this style, about how the stone had broken. I dread to think. The St Materiana Church came into view and I just knew that I would have to visit it. I love looking around old buildings and churches are free. It was a straightforward walk but we decided to deviate to visit the church. Then we saw a lovely rainbow and was very happy as that seemed a good omen for this walk where the weather was due to rain at any moment. St Materiana Church is next to Glebe Cliff and there is a very convenient car park if you would rather drive to visit it choice of picnic spots, the bench with the little table. However, these benches up here seem to have a better view because they're higher up. Which one will Paul choose? I hope he chooses the one with the back. I'm going to choose the one with the back. We plumped for the bench without the back in the end because the one with the back had a dip in it and it was a bit uncomfortable to sit on. So we are on the plain bench. Suited for today. I've got applewood vegan cheese with caramelised onion chutney sandwiches with our own homemade bread. A lovely view from picnic spot and some homemade chocolate cake. Yummy, yummy. All of those. From an information stand in the church, it is thought that the present building was built on the site of an ancient Celtic oratory built around 500 AD, which was cared for by monks for the Minster near Boscastle. This original building was replaced by a Saxon-style church, parts of which remain today. The present building, in its cruciform shape, 
was constructed between 1080 and 1150 in the time of the first Norman Earls of Cornwall. Although the interior of the church has changed over the centuries to meet the needs of the day, much of the original design can still be seen. This is where Tintuttle Castle is and you can go and have a look at it for £20. Here we are at Barra's Nose. So this is standing on Barra's Nose, looking across to where Tintagel Castle used to be. Quite a different vibe in the autumn, all the brackens going brown, but look how beautiful that looks. We didn't go to Tintagel this time, it was £20. Um, not sure if it's worth it to be honest, I don't know if anybody could help me with that decision to let me know whether it is worth it. Is it worth spending £20 to go to Tintagel Castle? Because if it is, we'll go next time. But we thought it was a bit steep, to be honest. We're coming to the end of the circular path now. So we are heading into Tintagel. So we've arrived at our cosy retreat, Dragonfly Cabin. Look how lovely that looks. <gasps> really, really nice. I'll video the bathroom later because... <gasps> Look at that. I need to take my shoes off to do that. And we look down over all this woods. And we can sit here for a cup of tea or a glass of wine. Very nice. And such a dinky little bathroom. Nice little shower. <laughs> and relax. 